On this episode of the Search for Canada's Game Shows, we'll be looking at audience participation and interactivity. My involvement changes completely when I'm no longer throwing a shoe at the television. I'm picking up my phone and I'm interacting with the show I'm actually watching. We wanted people at home to have a sense of the same thrill and competitive spirit as the competitors in studio. If you want to engage your audiences who can't be there, that's a beautiful way to do that. And you're creating a shared experience, which really makes it appealing to people globally for that matter. Wow, why hadn't anybody thought of that yet? It was a huge, huge challenge. We kind of had to reinvent the whole way a television competition format works. Suddenly so exciting for the viewer at home. I'm really engaged. I've got power. Why don't we change game shows to match with what the younger generations are more in touch with? So what if you could connect and joining from their house and they're live on set on the TV to do this game show. Like see people's answers and kind of like create a hive mind where everybody's collaborating to figure out what the answer is. Utilizing the spectator to create like kind of new TV, new game shows. Nostalgia enhances innovation. People love what they know and I see that's the future. Anything can happen in the next while. I'll just sit back and watch it with the rest of us. Man, in the year 2050, game shows are going to be probably insane. They're already insane. There's always a desire to make them bigger and grander and more special than the last round that came along. And I don't know if in 2050, it'll all be in a chip in our brain. The future of game shows is only limited to our imagination. Yes! And it's getting bigger and bigger. And I think it's going to be game shows, but on the moon. 